Google has revolutionized smartphones, tablets, and even the way we think about health with their technology. But can the AirPods Pro 2 revolutionize hearing care too? Today, I'm diving into their hearing aid-like features, what they do well, and where they fall short compared to prescription hearing aids. Stick around to find out if these earbuds are a game changer or just clever marketing. Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Pretzman, the owner and founder of Sound Relief Tinnitus and Hearing Centers. For over 20 years, I've been helping people find meaningful solutions to tinnitus and hearing loss through personalized care and cutting edge technology. Our YouTube channel provides valuable insights, expert advice, and the latest advancements in hearing care, breaking down what works and what doesn't, so you can make informed decisions. Whether it's understanding the benefits and limitations of new devices, like the amplification feature in the AirPods Pro 2, or learning about prescription hearing aids, our videos guide you every step of the way. Do me a favor and give us a like. It helps more people find this valuable information. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss content tailored to improve your hearing and enhance your quality of life. As you might expect, there's been a lot of buzz surrounding the AirPods Pro 2 and their new features, including the hearing test through Apple's health app and the hearing aid-like functionalities. While I'll cover the health app's hearing test in another review, for now, I wanna focus on their potential use as hearing aids. First, a quick disclaimer. I'm a big fan of Apple. I've been using their products for years, probably since the first iPhone hit the shelves. My MacBook is my go-to for work and my iPad rarely leaves my side, whether I'm relaxing at home or multitasking on the go. Apple has a well-earned reputation for innovation and creating products that blend functionality, accessibility, and style. Apple also deserves credit for raising awareness about hearing health. Their efforts to address issues like hearing loss, hearing testing, and safe levels of noise exposure are a huge step in the right direction. Making these tools and information accessible to millions of Apple users is commendable, and it's exciting to see hearing health becoming a part of everyday conversations. That said, let's talk about Apple's claims regarding the AirPod Pro 2 clinical grade hearing aid capabilities. While it's a clever bit of marketing, clinical grade isn't an approved term by the FDA or used in audiology. The amplification system in the AirPods Pro 2 would correctly be called over-the-counter hearing aids. OTC hearing aids are meant to increase accessibility of amplification to the millions of people with untreated hearing loss. The problem is that hearing loss is a complex issue, not easily fixed with a one-size-fits-all approach since no two brains are the same. Rather than offering a cheap solution to a complex problem, the industry should be focusing on health insurance reform, starting with Medicare, to increase accessibility of audiology services. But that is a topic for another video. Like I said, technically, the AirPods Pro 2 fall under the category of over-the-counter hearing aids, which have been available since late 2022, with brands like Sony also entering this space. Still, Apple's ability to integrate these features into a beloved product like the AirPods Pro give them a clear advantage in awareness and adoption. How do they compare to prescription hearing aids? Well, let's be clear. AirPods Pro 2 are not designed to replace prescription hearing aids. At best, they offer an entry point for individuals curious about amplification or exploring solutions for mild hearing loss. But they don't match the sophistication, personalization, or adaptability of prescription hearing devices. Prescription devices are carefully calibrated to an individual's unique hearing profile and ear canal anatomy. Audiologists fine tune these devices for specific frequencies, environments, and user lifestyles. Whether you're at a quiet library, a bustling restaurant, or an outdoor concert, prescription hearing aids can adapt to provide clarity, reduce background noise, and ensure a rich, natural listening experience. The latest prescription hearing aids are using advanced features like powerful directional microphones, 4D sensors, and deep neural networks built into their digital chips to predict your hearing needs in complex listening environments. By contrast, 
OTC devices like the AirPods Pro 2 provide generalized amplification rather than personalized hearing care. While they may enhance sound, they lack the precision, clarity, and sound quality that properly adjusted prescription hearing aids offer, especially in challenging listening environments. The difference isn't just louder sound, it's tailored sound with prescription hearing devices that offer more clear and comfortable sound, helping users re-engage with the world around them. There are some practical limitations too. Using AirPods Pro 2 as hearing aids presents some practical challenges. While they integrate seamlessly with Apple's ecosystem, factors like battery life, ear canal fit, and the lack of frequency-specific compression technology programmed by a professional could limit their effectiveness for any degree of hearing loss. Some other practical issues make using AirPods Pro 2 as hearing aids a bit tricky as well, such as comfort. Comfort is a significant issue with using AirPods as hearing aids because unlike prescription hearing aids, AirPods weren't designed to be worn all day, every day. Prescription hearing devices are uniquely fit to each ear and often require a custom mold to fit comfortably in or around the ear for prolonged use without causing irritation or pressure points. Prescription hearing devices are designed to be lightweight, breathable, and specifically engineered for stability and comfort, even during extended wear. AirPods, on the other hand, are primarily designed for shorter listening sessions, like phone calls or music streaming, rather than continuous all-day use. Their weight and fit in the outer ear canal can lead to discomfort over time, especially if worn for hours on end. The pressure can cause soreness or fatigue in the ear, making it difficult for someone who relies on them for amplification to keep them in throughout a full day. For anyone with hearing loss who might need sound support from morning until evening, comfort is crucial. It's hard to benefit from a device you don't want to keep wearing. Prescription hearing aids solve this problem by distributing weight differently and using softer materials tailored to an individual's ear shape, ensuring they can be worn comfortably for long periods without causing strain. The main reason the comfort is so crucial with amplification is that consistent daily input to the brain is critical to successful use of hearing devices. People who only wear their hearing aids occasionally or when they think they need them are the ones that struggle the most. They often report that hearing aids just don't work for them. Like anything new, the brain must adjust to the new input such as high frequency sounds needed for speech clarity. And the best way to achieve this is with daily, full-time use of prescription hearing devices. This way, the brain doesn't get confused by which way it is supposed to process sounds, the way it does with or without amplification. This is like the process of adapting to a new eyeglass prescription. It may take a few days to a few weeks for the brain to adapt to the new input especially if a stronger prescription is needed. Battery life is crucial for hearing aids because many people who rely on them need consistent all-day support to maintain clear communication and situational awareness. A six-hour battery life, like that of the AirPods Pro 2, may work for occasional listening sessions, but it falls short for someone who needs amplification from morning until night. Prescription hearing aids are designed with a longer battery life lasting a full day to accommodate users' needs without requiring frequent recharging or battery changes. For someone using AirPods Pro 2 as a hearing aid substitute, having to recharge midday could be inconvenient, disruptive, and potentially isolating. Imagine being in the middle of an important conversation or a social gathering only to have your AirPods run out of power. This disruption could lead to missed conversations at critical moments undermining the purpose of using a hearing device in the first place. Prescription hearing aids address this need by prioritizing battery efficiency and longevity. Some models even have rechargeable batteries designed for 24-hour use, while others use disposable batteries that can last several days. This way, users can go about their day with confidence, knowing they won't unexpectedly lose their hearing support when they need it most. Visibility is another factor, Having AirPods in your ears while trying to participate in a conversation might leave others wondering if you're actually listening or just tuning into your favorite playlist. The social aspect is tough too, 
since most people aren't exactly excited to admit they have hearing loss, let alone explain they're using their AirPods as hearing aids. We have several options today that are totally invisible to keep hearing loss discreet, and in some instances even improve sound quality by delivering the signal right to the eardrum. So, are the AirPods Pro 2 a revolution in hearing care or just clever marketing? Apple deserves immense credit for raising awareness about hearing health and bringing important conversations about hearing loss, hearing testing, and noise exposure to millions of users. The integration of these features into their ecosystem is impressive. And for those exploring amplification for the first time, the AirPods Pro 2 can serve as a helpful stepping stone. They offer a glimpse into the possibilities of real hearing solutions. That said, while the AirPods Pro 2 might be fun to try out and could provide some level of amplification, they aren't designed to be a long-term solution for those who need more substantial hearing support. If you do find them helpful, that's a great sign. Consider testing out professionally fitted prescription hearing devices, which can be precisely adjusted by an audiologist to match your specific hearing profile and ear anatomy. Audiologists tailor these devices to fit not just your hearing profile, but your lifestyle, ensuring comfort, clarity, and connection in any environment. Next steps. If you're curious about the AirPods Pro 2, give them a try and explore the hearing features in Apple's Health app. They might be a useful tool for mild hearing concerns or occasional amplification needs. Think of them more like the first pair of readers from the pharmacy to clear up the fine print. For those experiencing persistent hearing challenges, the best next step is to consult with an audiologist. A comprehensive hearing evaluation and professional guidance will ensure you find a solution tailored specifically to your needs. Stay tuned. I'll be diving deeper into Apple's hearing test features in an upcoming video, where we'll discuss how this technology could complement, not replace, traditional hearing care. Ultimately, Apple is pushing the boundaries of what everyday tech can do, and that's exciting for the future of hearing health. But for now, let's remember that hearing is as unique as a fingerprint, and solutions should be just as personalized. What do you think? Could the AirPods Pro 2 be your first step into better hearing? Or do you think this is more hype than help? Share your thoughts in the comments and let's keep this conversation going. Thank you.